Hi, um, welcome back to my uh, vSphere project. Uh, this video is about uh, DB, DB Switch, uh, the new feature in uh, vSphere. Um, as I said before, the reason for the DB Switch is um, the problem with if you have hundreds to thousands of VM, VM and you have lots of uh, ESX hosts it's always hard to have a consistent name of the switch and if you don't have a consistent name of the switch of course the 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 B motion will not work or the online transferring of um, virtual machine from from this ho host to, to another one um, I have changed so many things in here I added another iSCSI database, I mean storage, I call that open filer and if you will see on the storage here I have now sh open 1 and open 2 that open 1 and open 2 is on um, is, is on open filer 2 the open filer is the share one which I have only uh, volume for now um, so I added a couple of uh, switches here so the original uh, name of the switch before is iSCSI now I, I uh, added open one and that open one is for the storage open one and open two and in it's in sync all throughout the ESX um, to be able to add a DB switch or distributed switches you need to have a cluster on the data center so I have we haven't done that before so we can add now uh, a cluster and we do we did that by right clicking the data center to Dell and and we will just name that one as cluster one and we will just use the DRS option for now click next um, let's just do manual for now And this one you need to select either if you need to uh, enable enhance virtual motion um, this the CPU that this one is using is on workstation so it's 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 uh, they are all the same so we will just disable it click next and store the swap file the same directory recommended and finish and cluster one is here now okay to be able to create the DB switch is we go to the home and click networking and from the data center we can say again a new uh, distributed switch and from here we will just select the number of links of four we will not add more and the name we will just add one there if you want you can change the that name and click next and from here we have all available uh, nick for each of them so um, you will select them and we will say add now click next and automatically it will create a default port group and you will say click finish okay it's done uh, the DB switch is here um, that's the networks uh, it has the DB4 group and the uplinks and the ports is uh, I think this is the default is uh, 140 and 
those are the one that's being used right now configuration no virtual machine yet host being used on the the three hosts we have on the ESX and tasks there's there's a default task created there let's see the DV switch uh, uplink group uh, no f that's the forts no virtual machines that's the hoss and I guess there will be a default task oh there's no let's see the default groove uh, the forts okay that's 13 to uh, the default is 100 up to 140 and again the default uh, hoss and you can configure the alarm information it's just as administrator for now okay um the next part is uh, of course to migrate the bm okay um i have one running uh, okay good night i have one running uh, bm here it's db server Okay, let's try to log in on that one. Um, let's try it. <laughs> let's try to run a a, a continuous ping. Let's try to ping the um, DC one. So when you uh, migrate one of the VM switch, is go you go to the edit settings network adapter and from the network label you have now db fourth group that's the db switch one and you select that one and just click ok and this this one sh should change and from this one there's a timeout <laughs> multiple timeout it's probably because um my network is slow because of the nested thing uh, oh how stupid of me actually the <laughs> the one i created is uh it's not it's this one i should have i should have created the one that is um link with the um, 10 subnet so <laughs> i will repeat that in the background let me see if uh, it will allow me to delete that DB switch. Uh, remove. Okay, it allow me to remove it anyway. So let me shut down all the. Okay, so they are all now shut down. I didn't show you this when I added that BM net eight. So. Um, Hold on, let me d identify again which is So subnet 10, is that uh, local area 1? No uh, Realtek, I think it's Realtek yeah. yeah, it's Realtek, so close So from here we should select Realtek which is uh, BMnet 2 So let's just edit all this the one I added previously to VMnet 2 click OK ok I added all of them and let me start them one by one ok everything is up now and I run one of the VM and I need to do this one quickly go back to networking and say here new uh, distributed switch and again we will just put one on the name there and then select all of this and we'll just create automatic uh, dv4 to be created and there you are they're created now let's uh, migrate one of the hosts and see if it's going to migrate um, and I set up a uh, continuous ping and let's edit and migrate the switch now I don't have and this time uh, it worked properly, it's now in DV4 and there's nothing missing on the uh, ping.